Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Wow, it's scorching hot outside, and I want to know if you are as hot <laughs> in person as it is outside. Well, it's so good to be inside in the AC and uh, to be going live with you. Today we're going to be talking about something that has been coming up over and over and I can say it is a part of uh, not only the work that I do but the clientele that I am getting uh, via Zoom and some of them who choose to come in to meet up with me and of course we do all the masks and the temperature and everything. So Here's my question to you. How do you cope with anxiety? With all that is going on, how are you managing it? So allow me to share something. I was given an assignment to come up with a program and the program which I have called um, one of my programs that I already have, it's called Stand Up to Slim Down. And for those who don't know, um, as a clinical hypnotherapist practicing for over 20 years, I've gone through massive transformation of my own. Yes, not only um, managing my weight, but coming from abusive relationship, coming through um, healing, healing from not going under the knife for the third time for ovarian cyst and I remember the last time when I was at the doctor's office and when he said well looks like we have to go in my world shattered Truly, my world shattered. And I don't know if you've ever been in a situation that one word can make an impact on you that you go from the unknown to like life is over. And then when you come about, it's like, okay, I got it. I got the message. Now what? But to go from not knowing to being told something that shatters your world and it can be you did not pass a test that you were studying for like a med cap or your bar exam and this is your third time to yes you have cancer unfortunately the tests are positive and we have to go in for another surgery to there's been an accident we need you to come in so one phone call one word one message can shatter your world and yes it creates anxiety it creates stress it creates a lot of emotional impact and mental impact and you know what happens the words that truly matter and it impacts you it affects your entire body every essence of you gets to have this shock system and it's not only having an uh, an accident uh, that you get t-boned or someone hits you that you go into this shock system but words can shatter your entire life. But how do we overcome? How do we go from that pain factor that you feel powerless to gaining control, to gaining momentum and being able to stand up? You see, stand up to slim down is not necessarily about standing up and looking good, although that's what happens when 
you drop weight and you feel better if you stand up uh, more straight your back is not heavy your back is not burdened and I'm talking about heavy and burdened because believe it or not the work that I do is I help my clients and you to understand how much of emotional burden and guilt and shame and other people's expectations you may have placed upon yourself and on your back right so when I say on your back it means it feels overloaded you feel overwhelmed and you don't know how to drop it and I like the word drop it that means you pick it up and you drop it you have full control instead of something happening to you because as you know words do matter and losing is not what we do because losing in itself is like a loss and none of us want to feel that loss right so last night I was speaking in a group setting and one person who used to be a client of mine was a part of this group hello Henri thank you for being here and being part of this group last night we were speaking and there's others who were a part of it and one-on-one -on -one, it was like being on a love seat and I was helping them break through some barriers of their own hers was she started using the language of the past and something happened this past weekend with her child and how she dotes over her children and what we like to call this is I'm sure some ladies over here may understand what I'm talking about or maybe you are one of them it's called helicopter moms that everything has to be perfect that you pamper you safeguard you do everything in order for your children not to do anything wrong so they constantly walk on edges and walk on eggshell not to disappoint you so I asked her what happens if you disappoint yourself and boom it took her all the way back to another time and a place where she disappointed herself for a decision that she had made over 28 years ago and she said all this time I've been holding on to it and as I'm listening holding on to it and what if you were to let go what you are holding on to what would happen to your world what would happen to your body and your psyche and that's what break her not break but broke her and it became a trigger and she had never given herself permission to this day to forgive herself for the decisions that she had made over 28 years ago and she held on to it for whatever reason and now she's hovering over her children so nothing happens to her children and taking control and realizing I want you to know this that no matter how much you want to control something the more you make it tighter the more you want to control it the harder it becomes and when you are controlling this that means it's no longer open it's no longer loving but it is tight it is a punch who do you want to punch the person you needed to punch then is not present now so in fact perhaps you've been punching for the longest time self-punching 
and not recognizing it. Holding on to things that has weighed you down or overwhelmed you and overburdened you in all that weight that is on your body. So standing up to slim down is truly coming through that time of being powerless and being in pain and recognizing that today you can choose a, do, a different word. Choice. You have the power to choose and choose to drop the weight choose to forgive yourself actually grant yourself the permission to let it go and forgive yourself for holding on to it for burdening yourself because whatever it was that happened long long time ago it's not a reality except in your mind in your psyche in your body as you feel heavy as you feel 30 or 28 pounds heavier you see if today and that's what I asked you could drop one year at a time by one pound at a time would you give yourself the permission to do so and it was like wow 28 pounds for 28 years hmm Guess what? Just a realization. Yes, Henri, choice is the key word. Just a realization that she had the power to choose. Ah, it was so beautiful to see. It was so beautiful to see that, wow, I did it. I held on to it thinking that I am punishing someone else, that by holding on to this anger and resentment and silence, they'll get the message. No one got the message except that person. So what we do through hypnotherapy, through, through hypno-coaching, what I did was make it easy and broke it down in a way layer by layer layer by layer and there is deeper work to be done so she can drop the entire weight and she will i am i am definite that she will because now she understood that the words that impacted her then the the thing that happened and she held on to Last night, she let it go. Boop. Freedom. Kisses, kisses, kisses. Like a feather. And it takes a while for it to linger in the air and very gently to come down and land on the ground. So, there is a system. I have a program that I call it Stand Up to Slim Down, but it's mostly going from pain to gain and realizing that as you come to stand up for yourself, you can't truly peel away there's things that you no longer need to hold on to. So one way you can do, as you are sitting here listening to the sound of my voice be aware of where you are your surroundings become aware and make sure that you're in a safe place and lean back make sure you're in a comfortable position and when you feel comfortable close your eyes and just like rewinding and a movie like a video camera I want you to rewind and go back in time go to a time and a place where you believe 
something traumatic, drastic, took place, perhaps somewhere within your childhood. And all the while, you're still listening to the sound of my voice. You're in a comfortable place. You are safe, grounded, hopefully. And know that you are safe at this very moment inside your body. And as you breathe in and out, become focused on each and every breath that you are breathing. And be grateful. And as you inhale oxygen and vitality, be grateful for that oxygen and vitality, no matter where you are. And as you exhale, release all the tension, all the worries, all doubt, burdens, weight you have been carrying, even words that have impacted you, that were some harsh or negative, and just become aware. That's all. That there is no reason to do anything else except become aware and see, find out where in your body does it make you uncomfortable? Is it in your head area, your throat, your chest, your belly? And just allow yourself to become more in tune with your body since your body speaks to you. And again, let your body know that you are safe and your body is safe, that you are safe inside your body and your body is housing you, shielding you and protecting you just as you were, the perfection that you are today. If you are present, you are positive. You are loving, you are gracious, and remember those true aspects of who you are. We come from light. And if you can just allow yourself to surround yourself with a light, and allow that light, no matter what color it is, be white, it can be indigo, it can be green, sage, or lavender, even the smell of lavender. And allow that to just surround you, wrap you around like a huge shawl and scarf, silky scarf. And as you do that, breathe in and out and say to yourself this, I do have a choice to shift that word. I do have a choice to shift this image. I choose. And you can choose to let it go, to forgive. And if you need to hold on to it, why? How is it benefiting you? Hmm? Just know it. There is no need for answers or resolutions since your mind and your subconscious mind and your body will come up with all the answers because it is within you and all we're doing is tap within and all those who in the past perhaps hurt you in words in deed know that you are safe in this beautiful silky scarf right now 
as you do this, remind your inner child that you can open that beautiful scarf and include them, safeguard them, and love them. And together, you are one. You stand up for your inner child. Gracefully, lovingly, with an open heart. And as you do this, you blow kisses. That's it. And a smile. And this can happen immediately right now that you may just feel lighter or take one burden and drop it away, let it go. Take something that you felt it was, had a hold on you, let it go and say, nothing and no one has a control or hold over me. I matter. I stand up for me. I can. I choose to. And with this, recognize that today, at this very moment, it is your word that mattered. And it is your word that becomes your promise. The promise to keep you safe, protected, loved, and with a sense of gracefulness and knowing, just knowing doesn't matter what you know, becoming your best version. With that, you can take time, stay in that place, or open your eyes with an internal smile and recognize that no matter what is happening outside, if there is any pain in your body, if there is any emotional pain you've been holding on to, you move towards gaining a better perspective and gaining more confidence and learning how to stand up for yourself. And just congratulate yourself as if you're shaking hands with yourself or giving yourself a hug six feet apart. No, I'm kidding. And may you send a prayer to all your loved ones that you are blessed to have and those who are blessed to have you in their life and say thank you. Nobody else needs to know except it comes from your heart. If you are watching this, thank you Henri. Thank you for being here, always positive and loving. White, some blue on the edge. Oh, beautiful, white, blue on the edge. So beautiful. We all have the power to choose different colors. You can shift a different color. 
and whatever discomfort it is in your body, just drop it as if asking your body to drop it in the palm of your hand. And you can just go like this and release it to the sky, just like a feather. Let it go. With that, I thank you for being here today and being part of Heal Talk Tuesday. May God's grace and blessings be with you and the universal light surround you. Until next week, this is Lisa Bubari. Please subscribe and uh, let me know if there's anything I can help you with. There is no reason for us to be in pain. All right. Talk to you next week. See you next week. God bless. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.